I step in someone's purse going out so I may not be able to go back. So my talk didn't start well. So that's my topic and question on you. Who had porridge this morning? Hands up. One, two, three. Uh, about 3%. In America, they, they, they're 6%. So this is, this is me, and this is where I'm suffering a couple of these places. Uh, first of all, I want to give acknowledgement. My talk will not be possible without these wonderful people, generous support of two, two institutions, individuals. So these are John Sibyl Piper days. So you can see John then and now. Look how he's beautiful. <laughs> Cyril then and now. They are be better looking. And then you have this university, wonderful. Look at Fred, 10 and now. And she is scientifically beautiful forever. So, so I came here, you know, from distance part. I use pretty much all these ways of transportation because to come here, it's very complicated. <laughs> you, 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 basically, you basically realize that this, is, this building is in Holland and reception is in Germany. And we go for di dinner 10 minutes away to Belgium. So that's, that's what they told me. Uh, they pay this, then, then Alan told me we'll go to a little Dutch restaurant, there will be good food. And, and Fred told me will be a lot of sausages, only white one are plant-based. You know, German is bleak, close. So, and this is audience, whatever. Uh, so this is conflict of interest. I'm glad to see this because our executive, as see Ursula there with a firm pace, decided that we finally declare conflict of interest because last year there was a major problem. So this is my conflict of interest potential. I have a patent name here, Vicious Fiber. Savina gave me money a long time ago. I spent this money and I'll be talking about study. I consult some distance countries and, and have grants locally and elsewhere. So I'm pretty well, but I'm very poor. <laughs> so I have also conflict of interest. So, uh, so conflict of interest on my topic is whole grain, cereal far whole grain is, and cardiovascular risk. Risk is present, but likely overrated, that's my opinion. Cereal grains are metabolic inert, but perform well in cohorts. It is among largest controversies in nutrition. Oats, barley, that's kind of focus on my topic. Exception of a whole grain in oats and barley, but not the grain part, this magic of the phytochemicals, but simple viscous fiber. Oat barley is good for community industry research, but what about the individual consumers? 0.13 ml millimole reduction according to Ripsin original uh, uh, meta analysis, only good in counting a large population. And I said only 6% Americans take, uh, uh, take regularly meat, oatmeal, and these are, there are many children among them, they don't have cholesterol, I suppose. And then, and then one thing that we discuss in this group all the time, and Jim, Jim, Jim just mentioned, don't eat food. I think what's wrong with supplement, I'll tell you. This is exclusive opinion presented, VV, that's my initial, and not that of the University of Toronto, St. Michael 3D, 4D, whatever. And unfortunately, <laughs> likely not all the members of DNS. I may develop a lot of enemies, but I didn't have too many friends to begin with. So I'll try to reboot this grain, just grain, so is it just grain, so oats, what is, what, I'll put this red, you see? Uh, so this is, this is what I plan to do, and I'm sure that uh, John and Cyril will kick me out before I finish. So I'll be talking about diet, whole grain, my view, then uh, we'll show you some summary of the uh, systematic review and SRAMA, they call this, on oats and barley, on cholesterol, diabetes, blood pressure, obesity, and then I'll show eventually I have chance show our long-term study on beta glucan concentrate from oats and barley, those response, postprandial glycemia, matrix different, and uh, lipid study. So we all agree that chronological age, age and biological is not the same. So we can we can that could be different. And if you look at this uh, seeing and seeing, you can see a little bit here, there. So when you enlarge this. You can see cardiovascular diseases everywhere in cosmos, all around the place. So what you do, we all know this, you, you are supposed to do very simple to control this. Just reduce glucose, blood pressure, lipids, and body weight, and you are in business with uh, CVD and diabetes. So this is how we can do this. These are many medications, you couldn't read this. I couldn't even read aspirin, beta blockers, fibroid, niacin, statin, etc. And relative risk reduction, these are medications. But you can do with diet, fruit, vegetable, and fortunately we have Jordi sitting there, Mediterranean diet, alcohol, omega-3, physical activity, smoking. You see how my hands are shaking. Anyway, so these are kind of things. 
And anywhere I go, I show this slide proudly because I say, guys, to medical beatings, obviously. Kind of shut up with this medication. Look at this reduction, 30% reduction of cumulative risk. That's unseen with med medicine. And only with something Mediterranean diet and nuts and uh, extra virgin. These are beautiful, beautiful results. And uh, citated 260 times, uh, uh, 267 publications. And I read Jordi's uh, CV, but he said that he has 500 publications in 15,000 citations. Probably I didn't read your studies for the last two months, you know, just growing up. That's great. So my question there is, what is, what is this? Is that really diet and argue with Jordi when he was giving talk in Zagreb? Or it's, it's maybe components? And then, and then they talk a lot about uh, Mediterranean British Medical Journal just a couple of months ago. This intervention tasted were not typically Mediterranean, but single food supplement. That's they, they say. And I question because control that we don't have time to argue about this. But I want to, see, want to say that there are other ways of reducing. So I, other way might be just a simple viscosoluble fiber. Not soluble fiber, viscosoluble fiber, which could be given as food and sup, uh, supplements. And I was very happy to see that one of prominent member of our group uh, published incredible study called OptiFit study, where he uh, gave intervention insoluble, insoluble oats fiber with cellulose, hemicellulose, and, and, and with low fiber control, compared in a couple of hundred people, two years, remarkable this outcome. And you can read abstract, and uh, abstract will be presented and, and presentation. So that's, that you can do with supplement. That was given in the powder form. So anyway, let quickly about whole grain. Cohort study show many of them association between whole grain, grain health. One of the bigger, biggest promoter this is uh, Walter Villet, beautiful guy from, uh, from Harvard. So whole grain cereal, this is a big deal coming from cohort study. This, this is Walter, effective Epidu, Andrew, our prominent member here from New Zealand, but he published in Lancet. Who published in Lancet? I never did. You know, that list. So this is fantastic. His study, again, observational study. These are SRAM of healthy population in millions of pe people per year found usually a reduction of 30, 15 to 31 decrease all cause mortality and all these things. You know, many different things are showing. And, but you need at least 25 to 30 of total fiber per day or higher. This is Reynolds and Jim Mann, obviously. They also show, they also show that uh, they, they, they concluded the dietary fiber and whole grain, these are randomized clinical trials, doing really well on, on things like body weight, total cholesterol, LDL, etc. And uh, six out of this parameter, fasting glucose, were significant with uh, dietary fiber. Whole grain, was only one or two, I think, body weight. Uh, but you know, if you look at this kind of uh, pattern, you have a similar pattern. So I would say these are probably effects of dietary fiber. I don't know. Uh, so let me tell you a little bit more about whole grain. So we have Fred there with a white coat today. He's talking about wheat. Tom Woolover, I didn't see him. He's talking about oats. Uh, this is the this is kind of clinical clinical effect uh, randomized clinical study on LDL with the whole grain. I'm sorry you couldn't read this, but mixed whole grain have no effect on LDL cholesterol. Wheat have no effect. Oats have effect. Rye no effect. Barley yes. Rice rice even worse. Overall, it's good. So one will say it's reduced LDL, but basically thanks to oats and barley. So these are kind of odd, odd members, and they explain 50% of heterogeneity if you, if you remove them. This John Stephen Piper gave me this slide. David Jenkins sitting there, he did wonderful studies, he always does. 2002, diabetes care, serial fiber in type 2 diabetes, he didn't see any, any effect of, uh, of whole grain. And I think we are a little bit stretching whole grain and odds barley when we come to physiological approach or randomized clinical trial. So what about cereals a little shaking? So what about oats and barley? So we come finally to part two. We have only one part to go. So oats and barley sta status and evidence. You are familiar. You, I don't know whether you know that first study in 1963 was done by De Grotto. He's a local guy. He's Dutch. You know? Anyway, that's him. Uh, <laughs> Then in 1997, there was a first uh, approval health claim in the United States. 
based on entirely on Ripsin JAMA meta analysis, where he showed, say, that three grams or more beta glucan per day reduced cholesterol. It was total cholesterol only for one tree, based on 10 trials provided by Quaker Oats. So I don't need to say more. Bloody Canadian, where I live, they put, they put the copy FDA only 10 years later. They're very slow. And then EFSA, and then Malaysia, and uh, uh, Australia, and Jenny, and all these uh, nice people there. And you know, but let's see whether they stuck together, whether, whether, whether this study is okay. So we conducted series of meta-analysis on oats and barley and beta-glucan, you name it. And this is what we look at, randomized clinical trials, oats and barley. So basically beta-glucan on LDL, beta-glucan diabetes, obesity, and blood pressure. So I'm giving you a summary because you will need to stay two days more that I show you detail. Uh, so this is a summary of, of meta-analysis. We did individual oat and beta-glucan, 56 trials just a just year ago, two years ago. And we found reduction with people, so 0 0.2, 0 0.19 millimole reduction on LDL, barley a little bit more, but doses twice as much, 6.5, 3.5. Oats and barley, then we did studies uh, on, on fiber in diabetes, blood pressure, and obesity together, oats and barley, uh, based on beta glucan, and we didn't, we didn't find much. So as you see, hemoglobin, I see not significant, not significant, fasting blood, blood pressure, and not uh, 0.8. Uh, diastolic blood pressure was exactly 005, so I don't know if it's significant or not. Body weight, no, and waist is not. So these are better analysis, and you can see these are, you can't see, but these are all our study, and I put John Simon Piper because he gave us hands and, and carry us through. So this is the summary management cardiovascular, reduce a little bit blood pressure. I'm talking about oats and barley, or beta glucan, waste. There is uh, the majority of studies were short term and therefore it's unclear if the positive vaccine and LDL waste and conference and blood pressure sustain over time. That's what we usually write in meta analysis. There is a need longer term study uh, randomized to determine effect of fiber in relation to viscosity that we keep on trying, molecular weight solubility, and administration to see whether supplement versus food have similar effect. So then we go to finally to uh, study three that we conducted clinical trial. We conducted clinical trial with beta glucan concentrate, oats and barley. And why, why a company produce them? Because if you want to reduce LDL concentrate, uh, LDL for 5.8 according to David, Davidson uh, uh, dose response study, in order to get two grams of beta glucan to have this effect, you need to eat three bowls of oatmeal that people eat. They, they don't, the oat, oat bran is anyway not whole grain. So they eat oatmeal, these are 400 calories. And if you want to do six grams to, to reduce 10% LDL, which is pretty good, you need much more. So we went to company and said, could you get rid of these bad things? And they really did. They introduced new technology. And this is, uh, I think, electronic microscopy. You can see oat flour. You can see starch and protein. I don't know. They say you can see, but we can see. And then they remove it. Alcohol-based technology, new technology, Canadian company. And this is how it looks like. And 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 main goal was to pre uh, preserve native uh, condition of the oat means uh, primarily viscosity. We conducted pre prior to the long-term study. That's how we work. We conducted three feasibility study, looking at oats and barley, beta glucan concentrate on postprandial glycemia. And their study first, we want to see whether this material works at all compared with some other similar material. Second study, we want to look at liquid and solid. And then finally, after we learn those and all this stuff, we run into the main study with oats and barley based uh, beta glucan. So the first one, we uh, compare at the, at the time at market, I don't think they produce odd advantage American product. There was well sold in America. We measure viscosity of their product, this new product. Better look at to see the different viscosity that was done in Universal Alberta and, and with been control. So when we did in vivo, you can see that basically A concentrate had highest viscosity, had lowest blood glucose. You can see area under the curve. And this didn't change. So we said material is good. Let's continue. Let's see how this will do in solid and how we'll do in liquid, postprandial glycemia. This is typical what we do after fasting, give food 120 minutes, and we do studies, two studies, one with eight tests and one with 10. So the first one is solid, the nutritional bars, 12 people. 
we would give uh, zero, this is referred to, to beta glucan, 1.5, three grams on six grams from oats, and, and they would be crossover, randomized crossover design, will be the same quantity with barley, and we did three white bread as GI people taught us to do. And, and, and you can see that uh, results area on the curve, there was no effect of changing a uh, quantity of beta glucan, and when you uh, compare with white bread, all were good, but you know, bars do well because they have fat and protein, they're always good, and, but people don't do white bread, but so bars tend to be good. So solid didn't do much. We have to modify formula, and I don't have time to tell you more. Then we use the same material, 50% of uh, beta-glucan for oats, 60% for barley. We, 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 did, uh, we were able to, to, to put more 2, 4, and 8 <coughs> grams and 2, 4, and 8. And that was IV, we didn't do white bread. You can see in liquid, this is, uh, this is blood glucose area under the curve. You can see there was kind of dose response and there was barley also dose response, how we increase. Not only the highest dose was significant, uh, uh, insulin incremental area under the curve was also nice, even better uh, than, than glucose. And we concluded better glucan concentrated administered in liquid form, but not in solid, to reduce blood glucose, uh, uh, glucose response. Those are uh, relationship was present. And then finally, we say we are ready for long-term study, oats and barley, better glucan concentrated lipid, uh, lipids beyond the low-fat diet. So our design was, concept was that we have run-in phase with uh, 250 people who had 4.3 millimole LDL, so it's high. We put a more rigorous low-fat diet, and uh, all time we used to do this, step two. And then uh, 27 people went below 3.4, so they were excluded. So everybody above 3.4 were in the study, about a couple of hundred people. Uh, why we did beyond? Because Frank Sachs, would, you remember this study, was done, uh, uh, um, concluded that Dombre has little cholesterol over effect, uh, and, and that high fiber, low fiber diet, green uh, supplement, reduced cholesterol level about equally, probably because they re uh, replace the fat. So basically, that's why we designed study that we uh, eliminate this. Then we have to decide about those. These are Ripson study that FDA uh, brought this recommendation, health claim. And you can see the Ripson study is basically only, only four trials were significantly lower effect on, 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 on LDL. And basically these are four trials. So we have to decide how much we'll give. Company will come and say, we want to do three. This is FDA, want to do three. We went actually to FDA. But I keep on saying, guys, I never seen effect with three grams of LDL. Tom will have seen, I didn't. So can we do more? And when I look at what, what he found, these are all significant from all his trial, the dose of gram beta glucan was two, four, three, and six, and these are total cholesterol level of, of people. So I said it must be, okay, we can do three, because that was his conclusion, three or more. I have two minutes or two dose. Okay, so basically we decided we present company to, they want originally three, 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 but we added nine, nine, and we have match control six gram of wheat bran. So that was our study, uh, four to six weeks on so step two, six weeks crossover, all these six, seven trials. Food was high, uh, breakfast cereals, sprinkle, cookies, bars. We modified this a little bit. Results are here. So after six weeks, control, small reduction, three grams, more reduction, not significant, nine grams of oats and nine grams of barley, only significant with all this effort. That's what we found. So we were right that nine grams, you need nine. Maybe it's something wrong with, uh, with concentrate, but we need it right nine gram. So our conclusion, oats and barley is good sort of as uh, beta glucan may reduce blood lipids in hyperlipidemic sample beyond the effect of low saturated fat, but just you need to take a lot. We're still publishing, we are very slow, as you can see, that's my <laughs> publishing department, will take us a couple of months. Uh, so, conclusion from part one, whole grain excluding oats and barley, I don't want whole oats and barley there, maybe good for cardiovascular, only in upper whatever quintile steel or likely when replacing highly processed, well, these observation studies. Second part, uh, SRAMA, systematic re reduce source, maybe reduce cardiovascular risk factor by lipid systolic, and waste, and the third one, hard dose of beta-glucan concentrate from oats and barley, 
acute uh, re uh, reduced glycemia, acute in liquid, not in, uh, in uh, solid, serum lipid, hyperlipid subject, before low cell. So it's, it's working well, but you need to do a lot. Home take message. So these are the effect. You remember this kind of thing. And these are my wonderful group, all like movie stars except me. 